we attack these related rate problems? We well, see in your notes and up here on the board, we have some steps that can help you find some success with these problems. For starters, you really want to understand what it is that the problem is asking. What are you trying to find? And what information is given to you? All right. To help you out, you may want to draw a picture, especially those of you who are um, less artistically challenged than I am, that might help you out. Uh, it always helps me out. Once you've got that, you want to write the equation. On the exam, depending on the formula that we're looking for, that it actually may be given to you. Uh, and some of the problems I give it to you and some of the problems I don't give it to you. Um, but it's good to remind yourself of your geometric volumes and surface areas and uh, just areas in general. Okay. Once we've got that formula, we're going to differentiate both sides. And once we've found the derivative, then we plug the values in. We don't want to plug the values in too soon. We want to make sure we get our derivative and then punch our values in. So we see example 31, we've got ourselves a circular oil spill in the water. All right, so oil is spreading across the water in a circular design, okay? And we know a couple of things. We know that the radius is increasing at 1 100th of a meter per second. Okay, we're able to figure that out. We're also, we know that at the moment the radius is 50 meters long, all right? So the question is, how fast is the area of the oil spill increasing okay so the key here we see if we're trying to figure out what's going on okay what do we know well we know that the radius is 50 meters okay so we know that r is equal to 50 okay specifically 50 meters okay we see the radius is changing all right now in our class change means derivative so the derivative of the radius is one one hundredth meter of a second okay so we have two clues here that we're talking about the derivative one is the word increasing because we know increasing means change and change means derivative we also see our units here distance units over time units okay so that means that we need a variable which is distance or length dr over time dt so we know that now our units match up with what's going on with the name of our variable right? and this one one hundredth of a unit that is our drdt what are we trying to find we're trying to find the rate at which the area is increasing that doesn't mean we're looking for a that's just finding the area we're interested in the rate that the area is increasing so we want dadt all right the derivative of the area okay that will be what our goal is to find for this problem so let's go ahead and do that. All right. I did not draw the picture, but I do understand the problem now. If you need to draw a picture to help you out, you absolutely can. Now we write the equation. We have area of a circle. What's the formula for the area of a circle? A equals pi r squared. All right. And we need to derive this. That's step four. So let's find our derivative, just like we did in the previous examples. Area is going to derive to 1 times dA dt pi well, that's just a coefficient, so it's going to stay right there. And r squared derives to 2r, but again, because we're deriving the variable r, we need dr dt. Now, the way these problems work out is we have just enough information to help us find what we're looking for. We're trying to search for dA dt. Well, we need to plug in for r and dr dt. We know that r is 50, and we know that dr dt is 1 one hundredth. So we have to plug those in. So we now have pi times 2 times 50 times 1 one hundredth. I'm going to write it in this manner. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I can quickly see here that 2 times 50 is 100, and 100 times 1 one hundredth, that all cancels out to 1. So when all is said and done, dA dt is just going to be pi. And if we're going for units, pi what? Well, area is in the numerator of our units, and time is in the denominator of our units. So area is square units. Right. Square meters right, per time unit, which we know is second. So the radi uh, rather the area is increasing at a rate of 3.14-ish square meters per second.